Hey guys, Jim from Import Image Racing and welcome back to the channel. On this week's video, we're going to be installing the Noble RD2 carbon fiber spoiler onto the back of your 2022 to present Subaru WRX. Let's get going. Inside the box, you will receive your spoiler, 3M tape, a bottle of adhesion promoter, and two attachment screws. Proper prep work between the spoiler and the trunk surface will create a very strong bond between the two, and in most cases can secure the wing permanently. Noble provides two securing screws if you so desire to use them, but does require permanent modification to your trunk lid. We will be going over that in this video, but the choice is up to you if you decide to take that leap. For more information about proper prepping, conditions, and cure time for 3M taping, click on the link in the cards above. To begin installation, remove the nine push pins attaching the interior felt to the trunk lid. If your vehicle is equipped with the factory rear spoiler, loosen and remove the two 8mm fastening bolts using the two circular cutouts in the trunk lid. In our case, this vehicle is already equipped with the Noble STI style spoiler, so we're going to be switching over to our trunk from another dimension. Uh. That was easy. Anyway, with our factory securing hardware removed, we can simply pull on the factory wing to release it from its plastic clips. Let's talk about our securing options. At this point, if we're just going to stick with a 3M install, we can now clean and prep our surface on both the trunk lid and our wing, apply the 3M, and place it onto the trunk lid. But let's focus on if we're going to use the securing hardware. If your vehicle was equipped with the OEM spoiler, you're now going to have six holes across your trunk lid. We're gonna be focusing on hole number two and number five. When we mock up our new RD2 spoiler, you're gonna notice that number two hole and number five hole line up pretty good, but not exact. At this point, we're gonna use a Sharpie to mark where our hole locations need to be expanded. With a die grinder, we're gonna open up these holes to our liking. After modifying our holes, we'll use a small dab of paint to prevent corrosion, then we can do our final install. An option for you guys that don't have the factory holes from the factory spoiler is to take an old paper towel and rip off a handful of shards. At that point, you're going to want to ball it up and stick it into the hole of our wing. At this point, you would take a dab of watercolor or Dawn dish soap or any liquid that's not going to make a permanent mark on the trunk lid and dab the ends. Then when we go to mock our spoiler up, we will have a noticeable mark on the trunk lid where we'll start our pilot holes. Using painter's tape, mock up the spoiler for its initial fitment. At this point, our holes have been made and or modified, so we can move over to our RD2 wing and prep it for installation. Wipe down our spoiler's mating surface with a clean microfiber rag. Then apply a dab of adhesion promoter to your rag and prep our surface. Apply our 3M tape to the outer edge of our new spoiler. Remove the 3M protective film. Apply adhesion promoter to the contact surface of our trunk lid. Carefully line up and install our RD trunk lid for the final time. Now that the wing is attached to the trunk, we can go ahead and secure it with our hardware, then remove our marking tape. Our Noble RD2 wing is installed and I absolutely love the look. The last thing I'll say to you is for any of the holes that are pre-drilled into your deck lid, I would use a small dab of silicone from inside the trunk lid to prevent any water intrusion. Once you do that, we can reinstall our trunk lid felt and call this job done. Thanks for taking a look at the installation of the Noble RD2 spoiler for the 2022 to present VBWRX. For more parts just like this, plus tons more, be sure to hit up importimageracing.com for all of the best deals on the web and in the world, and we'll catch you on the next one.